Okay, now, so if the Bible tells the followers of it to read it to show yourself approved by it, right? And the Quran tells the followers of it to investigate the truth that they find, right? So the Quran doesn't say that it's the truth. The Quran says that the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, right? So the Prophet Muhammad is, in, is inspired by Allah or was inspired by Allah to tell what he witnessed. So basically the Prophet Muhammad is a witness to the serpent's deception, right? Now, what you have to see is the Prophet Muhammad testified, that's his prophecy to the crime, right? So he's looking at the laws of his time, just like I'm doing. And then he's judging the crimes that he's seeing being committed. See, that's why the Quran is case law. See what I'm saying? Because he is showing you not only the law that was being violated, he's showing you the punishment for the law. See what I'm saying? Being violated. Now, in the Holy Bible, right, the Old Testament is doing what the Prophet Muhammad did, right? But the New Testament is telling you about the fulfillment of the crime that was committed against Jesus. See what I'm saying? See, so then the Bible is biblical case law of the crime that was committed against your Lord and Savior. Now, what the crime is now, why it's domestic violence, is because of the way that they are teaching it has caused you to become mentally abused. See what I'm saying? Because you have lost maturity being deceived intellectually. See, that's why I was telling my friend who's a reverend, you know, uh, he's, I told him, I said, they have taught us ignorance intelligently. Now, what the Bible says is this, and this is in Ecclesiastics, right? Verse, uh, Ecclesiastic 8, verses 1 through 9. Say, say who is as, as the wise man, and who know the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the uh, a boldness of his face shall be changed. I counsel thee to keep the king's commandment, and that... In regards of the oath of God, be not hasty to go out of his sight. Stand not in an evil thing, for he doeth whatsoever pleaseth him. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment, because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him, for he knoweth not that which shall be. There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. See what I'm saying? So now, the people who were trying to rule over me, right? made me prove, right, that I am in Ecclesiastics, right? So if you're supposed to read the Bible to show yourself approved, when I went into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida and used the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, 
the Florida, I mean, the, uh, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to fulfill the oath that the United States of America gave to me when I was 18 years old before they would allow me to serve my country in the United States Navy, right? So if I then could now go to Ecclesiastics and show myself to be approved, now how can you, for whom read the Bible, to show yourself approved, reject Ecclesiastics saying this? Say who is as the wise man, okay? I'm saying I'm the wise man, right? So if I'm reading this to show myself approved, I'm saying, well, they say, say, say it, who is as the wise man? Well, I'm saying, well, I'm in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, proving that I'm a wise man. So therefore, that's a question. I have answered that question in the place where the question has to be proven beyond the shadow of a legal doubt. So I've done that before I read this. So now he asking you for whom say you read this to where you can teach it to another person. Why you not coming into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida and prove that I'm not the wise man. See you saying I'm not the wise man out of court. But I proved that I was the wise man in court. See, so if you afraid to defile the courts, then you just like the people who took Jesus into the judgment hall. See, so it's you. See what I'm talking about? Now it says, then it says, and who know the interpretation of a thing? Well, I'm saying I know the interpretation of this Ecclesiastics 8 because of what I did in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. Because after I proved I was the wise man, then I knew how I understand the interpretation of a thing. See, I understood the interpretation of the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, as well as the Civil Rights Act of 1964.